In our last episode, we installed this gull wing door storage box to the drawbar of the camper. Today, we're adding a storage solution to the top of that. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm Daryl and welcome to this episode of our off-road camper build. Well, in downtown Sydney, Australia, we're back in lockdown. Woohoo! Except this time, um, last year when it all started, construction could continue. However, this time they've actually shut down all construction across the city for two weeks. Which means that our new house, which was probably four to six weeks away, is now eight to ten weeks away or whatever. So. Quite disappointing from our perspective, but what do you do? It is what it is. Anyway, now on to what we're doing this week, and that's a storage solution for the top of the new Gullwing door storage box on the drawbar. Now, my last one I made, uh, and I put a piece of aluminium checker plate on the top of it, sprayed it black, and put some relocatable hooks across it. Um, worked really well, uh, didn't wear that well with the paint, and it would have been better being anodized or something, but that ramps all the costs up. This time, I thought it'd be better if I could buy an off-the-shelf solution, um, because when you start building some of this stuff, especially, and you've got to buy uh, the fixings, it adds up really quickly. So I started to look at my options, and the one that sprung to mind were these flat platform racks. The good thing about these things, they're fairly light, and there's, they take a T-bolt T into the, the channel of them, but the good thing about them is that there's a whole heap of accessories you can buy in the aftermarket for these. Um, it seems as though every person that now buys a four-wheel drive, uh, before it used to be fitting a snorkel, now it's fitting one of these racks. And they have th had some issues with how they affix them. And there was a big internet thing about um, they were just pop riveting them into the, the roofs of dual cab utes and there was a couple that, that the guys uh, were putting uh, rooftop tents on these things and one one poor guy had it had come off in Fraser Island in Queensland so um, wasn't a good thing and then he had to go through the process of getting his roof repaired that's not going to affect us but these things are really expensive to buy in the first instance and I was looking around for second-hand options and all of a sudden my local parts store super cheap auto had a, a sale a 20% off sale. So the smallest rack I can get is 1200 by 1200. I need um, a lot smaller than that. Uh, so we've paid $400 with the discount and we're going to take the angle grinder to it. Well, maybe not the angle grinder, but um, we're going to make this fit. It looks as though it should be a fairly reasonable, easy job to make fit. When you look at the fittings on these things, they slide into a channel and just move across to where you want them, the aftermarket fittings. So we need to just make sure that where we, where we drop the fittings in, we leave there. The rest of it is just cutting to size, but it should give us a fairly professional finish. Um, these things are anodized, so if I put the bag that I normally put on the front of these, um, it's not going to scratch it or anything. Um, you know, there's fittings for gas bottles, there's fittings for max tracks, uh, there's a whole gamut of fittings you can get. Um, and I'm not planning to have a lot of weight on the front of this box, but with this camper design, I can put some weight there, but it will be light and bulky things, um, which I don't want in the vehicle and my analogy all the way along is not to have anything to do with the camper in the vehicle. The vehicle is to be just for some jackets or some toys that I'm taking. So first off, let's just put this on the ground, we'll lay it out and work out what we need to cut. Um, we need to cut all the cross rails, we need to cut the front and back rail and the side rails. Uh, so there's a reasonable amount of cutting. Um, the side and the front and back rails are cut at an angle, they just pop into a plastic fitting, uh, so we just need to cut those at the same angle. Um, all in all, a fairly simple job. But don't you love buying something new and just cutting it up? Let's get into it.
sound the drums of war Unable to admit You were there to fill my home To gain a sense of fairness ah, 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 ah. We are turned to stone
side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Caught us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Crickets see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Caught us crazy, but things are finally right is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard time You and I can weather any storm Now that's turned out really well. As you would have seen in the workings, uh, one end of all the crossbars had to be re-drilled. I've used all the standard fittings. So apart from its size, it's as it should have been from the factory. With mounting it to the box, I've drilled through the section. And if we look at this section uh, uh, there, um, there's actually some rubber grommets on the bottom. And I dare say they use that for some of their, their side mounts and everything. Um, so what I've done is I've drilled through the, through the top of this and we're mounting in the same area as what these holes would be. Um, however, I've put a bigger hole in the top so the bolt actually slips down through this and mounts on this face here. And then I've just put a, a rubber grommet 
over the top of it. It's worked out really well. You can't see the mounts to the box apart from the grommet. So very happy with that. Um, it's as solid as a rock, isn't gonna go anywhere. Now all I have to do is work out what fittings I'm going to have on here, um, whether I put a gas bottle on here or not. Um, I can just order those online and go and pick them up. Um, they're not open to general customers at the moment because of the lockdown. But anyway, we'll work on that. Um, but yeah, very happy. It's a nice low profile platform. Uh, just finishes it off nice. It's, it's a nice professional finish. That was a fair bit of work actually to get that done. There was quite a few hours of work in that, but it's all worked out quite well. You can't really tell that it's been cut down, so I'm, I'm pretty chuffed with that. So. I hope you enjoyed that guys, probably a little bit different to what a lot of guys do with this sort of thing because of price I suppose, but um, I'm very chuffed with it, worked out well. So that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you next time, bye now.